we on. Well, praise the Lord. Good evening, my dear brothers and sisters. Thank you for joining us. Some of the brethren have, have joined together in the, at different locations to pray for our brethren at the Aruka Worship Center. We are charged up. We are ready for this prayer. We are ready to intercede on behalf of our own, our members and adherents of our church. So stay with us for the next half an hour and join with us, not just stay, but join with us because we want to go to God. We have an invitation to come to him. He says, to come and to receive help in the time of trouble. And uh, many need help. Amen. So we're going to open in our word of prayer. And uh, we have with us Sister Rebecca. We have um, Brother Rajesh, Brother Roland, Sister Sheriza, Brother Marlon. And all of us are going to take a part in this here. So let's open properly with a word of prayer. His name is exalted, high above the earth. His name is high above the heavens. His name is exalted, high above the earth. Give glory and honor and praise unto his name. No other name but the name of Jesus. No other name but the name of the Lord. No other name but the name of Jesus is worthy of honor, is worthy of glory, is worthy of power and all praise. Hallelujah. Lord, we are convinced that there is no other name that is given under heaven whereby we can be saved. No other name given among men whereby we can be saved but the name of Jesus. For your word tell us that you had highly exalted Christ and given him a name that is above every other name so that at the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue confess that Jesus Christ is Lord. Hallelujah. And we come to you upon your invitation that says to come and we are going to pray this evening oh god again on the basis of your invitation that says anything that we ask in your name it will be given unto us and here oh god the few of us that are allowed to gather oh god via this platform we join our hearts in prayer as we pray for these requests, praying for our brothers and our sisters of the church, hallelujah, and those, oh God, that attend our church today, hallelujah. So, Father, I lift up my own brothers and sisters that will be leading out in prayer, and I Ask that, oh God, you're going to give them the anointing, the spirit of intercession and prayer in the name of the living Christ Jesus. Amen and amen. Sister Rebecca is standing by to lead us in our first request. Sister Rebecca, over to you. Hallelujah to the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we believe we are coming to you today, Lord God, and you're in. 
Reward yes. of those that diligently yes, seek Lord. you. My yes. God, we diligently seek you today, Lord God. For our members, Lord Jesus, for the ones who are yes. the front line, yes. the front yes. line yes. workers, Lord God, yes. and their families, Lord Jesus. <clears throat> Heavenly Father, and we pray for their safety, Lord yes. God, and protection, Lord Jesus. We come to none else but you, Lord God. And we ask you for your protection on them lord god they cover various industries lord god healthcare pharmaceuticals protective services aviation energy banking lord god lord jesus and they are interacting with so many people people who may not be diligent to do what is right and what is safe lord god but even the ppe that we have lord god it's sometimes uncomfortable and stifling and they may be tempted to move it lord jesus because they are exposed lord god we lift up our brothers and sisters lord god because they are exposed lord god they are in the line of fire so to speak heavenly father so lord god we lift them up before you today lord god and we ask you lord god to cover them with the blood of jesus heaven Heavenly Father, Lord God, for nothing can penetrate the blood of Jesus, Heavenly Father, Lord God, and we lift them up and we present them before you today, Lord God. Heavenly Father, we pray that and ask that you remember Brother Raj, Lord God, as he goes out there to do his job diligently, Lord God. Father, Brother Ryan, Lord God. Brother Rajesh and Brother Roland, Heavenly Father. Lord God, Father, I lift up Brother Richard before you, Lord Jesus. Heavenly Father, remember Dale and Nicholas, Lord God. Father, they are doing so many different things and they are busy, Lord God. Their minds may not always be turned on doing what is safe, Lord God, but our eyes are upon you, Heavenly Father, Lord God, for your safety and your protection, Almighty God. Father God, I lift up our sisters before you, Lord Jesus. Father God, Sister Shari, Lord God, as she goes out diligently to her work, Lord Jesus, and they do it with their all, Lord God. They do it as unto you, Lord God. Father, Sister Crystal, Lord Jesus, who also goes out, Lord God. Heavenly Father, remember Sister Rhea and Sister Sharon, Almighty God. Lord God, we lift up Sister Kean and Sister Chelsea to you, Lord Jesus. Father, remember Christiana and Leah, Lord God. Father, Melissa, Almighty God, remember them, Almighty God. Jesus, we lift them up before you, Father. And if there's a name that we fail to mention, Father, you know us all. Lord Jesus, you know our thoughts, Lord God. Even the hairs on our heads are numbered, Lord Jesus. Father God, and we lift them and we present them before for you lord jesus father god and we pray for their safety and their protection lord god and we pray also that they would know that they are safe and that they would trust in you lord god for these are troubled times lord jesus and they may even be asking themselves why why do they have to go out and it may be unfair jobs many times it's unfair lord god but help us to all remember lord jesus that it wasn't your will for shadrach meshach and abednego to not go into the fire lord god they were in the fire they had to go into the fire and experience it lord jesus but you were there who was that fourth person lord god the son of god father you were there with them lord jesus father god and they came out with their hair not being singed lord jesus and with all the smell of smoke almighty god only you can save like that lord jesus only only you can protect like that, Lord God. And Father, we come to you and we lean on you and we trust in you for our safety and our protection, Lord God. Only you can do it. We don't trust in man, Lord God, but we trust in you and we come to you, Lord God. And we present our brethren before you, Lord Jesus, Lord God, that you remember them. We may forget, people would forget, but Father, you don't forget us, Lord God. Your eyes are upon the sparrow. If it falls to the ground, Lord God, you know even that. How much more your eyes are upon us, Lord God, and that you remember them lord jesus they will dwell in the secret place of the most high and abide in the presence of the almighty lord jesus father i lift up their families lord god because they will be safe that no pestilence will come near them when it will not come nigh their dwelling lord jesus but i pray that you send your angels to god charge over them lord god and that they would lift them up that their feet would not strike a stone almighty god father god and with long life lord jesus you will satisfy them Lord God, Father, with long life, you are God and you came that we may have life and not sick life and not threatened life, Lord God, but an abundant life, Lord Jesus. And Father, I pray for your protection on them. I pray for your covering on them, Lord God. For well, the name of the Lord is a strong tower. The righteous run it into it and we are safe. They are safe, Lord God. Father, I speak your 
favor over their lives, your protection, Lord God. It is well. It is well for them. It is well, Almighty God. They will feel your presence, Almighty God. For lo, I am with you even unto the end of the world. Father, you will not leave us nor forsake us. And Lord God, I give you thanks. Father, thank you for your protection. Thank you for your covering, Lord God. Thank you for being with them, Lord God. Jesus, I give you thanks. And we pray these things in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Yes, Lord. Donna to that list, Lord, in the name of Jesus, because she's also there. She's inter interfacing with customers there, Lord. We pray for her safety and protection, and we thank you, Lord, for the prayers of our sister, Sister Rebecca. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Our next, our next prayer is going to be Brother Rajesh, and he's going to lead us there, Brother Rajesh. Just lead in that area that God is. Um, God will allow you to pray. Amen. Oh, Heavenly Father, we give you all the honor and glory and praises, Father. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Thank you, Father. Oh, Lamb of God, we, we remember your people. We ask that you remember your people, Father. Yes. Remember our people, Father. Those that are adversely affected wow. by this COVID-19 situation, Father. Remember them, Father. Remember those, Father, that are, that, that are negatively affected, yes. Father, financially, Father. Yes. Those that cannot meet their commitments, Father, yes. on a day-to-day -day basis, Father, on a weekly basis, on a monthly basis, Father. Lord Jesus, we ask that you lift them up father lord jesus we ask that you ha have mercy on them father mercy we cry out to you lord jesus remember them father those father with mortgages with loans father with vehicle loans father remember them father those that can't meet the payment oh lamb of god have mercy on them father lord jesus we ask that you remember all these that have bills of payment that are due father for furniture for equipment for what, whatever it is whatever it is father father we believe father that you are jehovah jireh jehovah rafa father you are the great provider father in the name of jesus and we believe father we believe and trust in you that you will provide a way father you are the way maker father the promise keeper father in the name of jesus and we trust we put our whole trust on you father that you will you will provide all the needs of our brethren, Father. All the needs. You will supply all of our needs, Father. Oh, Lord Jesus, just like you lead Moses, Father. We ask that you lead them the same way too, Father. Touch them, Father. Oh, Lamb of God, just like you bless Abraham, Father. In the name of Jesus, we ask that you bless our brethren, Father. We decree and declare Abrahamic blessings over our brethren, over our brethren in the church, Father. In the name of Jesus, that you will bless them, you will touch them. Father, you will open their minds, Father, to receive your word, to help them to be closer to you, Father. Help them to decrease, Father, for you to increase in their life in this time, Father. In this time, Father, help them to be closer to you, Father. Give them the creativity, Lord Jesus, the creativity, the way, Father, that will help them, Father, that will seek additional sources of income, that will be able to grow them, Father, be able to grow spiritually, Father, that be able to grow financially, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father, we pray, Father, that you, that, that, that you will make a way for them. We believe in this. Father, your word say, if we ask, Father, in your name, it will be done. Father, and we declare, Father, that it is done, that you are victorious, Father. In your name we pray, Father. In your name we ask this. No other name. The mighty and powerful name of Jesus, Father. The Lord, the name that is above all. Yes, Lord, we ask this in your name, Father, that you will strengthen the bedroom, Father. Strengthen them, Father. In the name of Jesus, Father. In the name of Jesus, you will strengthen them, Father. You will not leave them, Father, but you will bring them closer to you. Father, we ask that you cover them under your blood, Father. In the name of Jesus, keep them covered under your blood. Keep them covered, Father, in the name of Jesus, and bless them financially. Let their cup run it over, Father. We decree and declare that they are blessed, Father, that we are blessed. 
We ask this in the mighty and powerful name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Father. Amen. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah. Praise the name of the Lord, Father. Hallelujah, Father. We lift them up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, Father. Hallelujah, Father. Part of our congregation is made up of young persons. Those young persons are children. They are our nephews, they are our nieces, they are our brothers, they are our sisters. Hallelujah. And we want to join with Brother Roland. He's standing by to lead in prayer for our young people. That they don't become bored, that they don't become rebellious, that they, that parents will help, that the church has a plan, that it will be, it will be of a, of a blessing to them, and so on. Hallelujah, brother Roland, lead us in prayer. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the name of the Lord. Hallelujah, Father, we come before Your mighty name this evening oh god hallelujah we come before your throne of grace hallelujah lord father oh god what a privilege oh god that lord we could come to you oh lord hallelujah jesus in a time like this oh god hallelujah father we we know that the youths oh god we lift them up this evening oh god before you hallelujah lord i i know in a, such a time like this oh god as we are quarantined oh god that lord father they could be bored, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, tension could rise, oh God, in the homes of Father, oh Lord. And Lord, I pray this evening, oh God, that Lord, you will touch the minds of the parents, oh God, of these children, oh God, hallelujah. That Lord, mm -hmm. you will, oh God, give them, oh God, what it takes, oh God, to, Lord, control them and Lord, Father, to, you know, Lord, to bring peace into that home hallelujah i pray that lord they will come up with ideas oh god from you oh god that lord you know they will have like quiz and bible studies oh god hallelujah and the minds will not be idle oh god hallelujah for this time oh god lord jesus lord i pray oh god that lord they will be such in one peace oh god and togetherness oh god hallelujah i pray oh god lord that they will also help out home oh god and the in the chores to be done, oh God, Lord, Father, what is ever asked of their parents, oh God, that, Lord, they will take it, oh God, seriously, and they will go out and do it, oh God, to the best of their ability, Lord Jesus, hallelujah. I pray, oh God, for peace in the homes, oh God, hallelujah, that, Lord, Father, there will be no fighting amongst the siblings, oh God, hallelujah, this time. My Lord, I ask, oh God, that Jesus, you are the great comforter, oh God, you are the peacemaker, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, we thank you, oh God, Lord, Father, for Lord, once we trust in you, oh God, Lord, there is peace, there is hope, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. And Lord, I pray this evening, Oh God, that Lord, you will, oh God, fill our homes, oh God, Lord, with Lord your spirit, oh God. Lord, let your spirit, oh God, bring wisdom in our homes, oh God, Lord Father. And Lord, we will use that wisdom, oh God, Lord, and apply it, oh God, hallelujah. And Lord, we will reap the benefits of it, oh God, Lord Father. But Lord, put in you first, oh God, hallelujah, Jesus. Lord, I pray, O oh God, for the ministers, O oh God, hallelujah, of the church this evening, that, Lord, you will touch them in a special way, O oh God, that, Lord, the activities, O oh God, that they are portraying to take out and carry out, O oh God, hallelujah. For, Lord, this time, O oh God, we need your direction, O oh God. We need your direction, Lord. Lord, we need to reach out and touch the people out there, Lord, hallelujah. And Lord, I pray, oh God, that Lord, you will touch them in a special way this evening. Lord, you will touch their minds, oh God, of a fresh this evening. Lord, I pray, oh God, that your spirit, oh God, will, oh God, interact in them, oh Lord, hallelujah. And I pray this evening, oh God, and I commit everything into your hands this evening, oh God. For Lord, you are mighty and you are all powerful, oh God. And Lord, most of all, God, you are loving this evening, oh God. You are loving God and caring God this evening, Lord. And Lord, we just thank you at this time for what you're going to do, oh God. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah.
Hallelujah to the Lamb. Hallelujah to the Lamb. God Almighty, we honor you. We honor you, Jesus. We honor you. We honor you. Hallelujah, Lord, we continue to seek your face. Hallelujah. Sister Sherry standing by. She's going to take us a fourth request here as we continue to pray for the members and adherents of the Aruka Worship Center for our own people. Today the emphasis is, is for, for our people. Hallelujah. Sister Sherry, Sherry, can you lead us in prayer, please? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise God. Hallelujah, Lord, Lord. Lord, we pray and we thank you, God Jesus. Yes. And we thank you, Lord, for our brethren at the Ruka Worship Center, Lord. Hallelujah. We pray, Lord, and we and we come, Lord Jesus, before yes, you, Lord, so. making a request, Lord, that you will enter their homes. Hallelujah. Lord, that you will enter their homes, Lord, and that you will reign in their homes, Lord. Yes. You will help them, God Jesus, in everything, God Jesus, that yes. they put their hands to God. Lord, yes. as they as as the parents, Lord, are with the children in these homes, as we are confined to our homes, Lord, yes. we pray, God Jesus, that you're going to peace is going to reign in our homes, God. We're going to focus on you, Lord. And we're going to find ways and means that we can draw closer to each other, Lord. Yes. And we're going to just be in that atmosphere, Lord, that we can, we can, we can build each other and not fight, Lord. Yes. Lord, sometimes it's hard to be in yes. confined, Lord, but we know that you are the God of peace. Yes. We know you are the God of love. Hallelujah. We know, Lord, you are the God, Jesus, that Hallelujah. you reign, Lord, you reign. And as we, as we have you in your, in our homes, Lord, God, Jesus, you will be there. You will comfort us, Lord. You will help us to get through this time, Lord God. You will help us, Lord, as we commit to you and we focus on you, Lord. As we stay focused on you, Lord, that you wouldn't fight, that there wouldn't be any any uh, disagreements, Lord. Even if there are, Lord, we will, we, will, we will deal with it, Lord, in peace and in love, Lord. And after this, Lord, we'll be coming out, Lord, stronger, Lord. Yes. We'll be coming out stronger, Lord, and we'll commit ourselves recommit ourselves back to you and we'll be coming out stronger lord we pray and we thank you god jesus because we know lord that you are in control lord you are in control of this situation lord and we know god that it will come to an end lord it will come to an end and we will be victorious lord god jesus we pray lord god jesus that your love will reign in our hearts, Lord, and your love and your love and your peace, God Jesus, it will just Amen. enter our homes, God. And there will be such a nice time, God, that we will we won't even know that we are confined, Lord. But we will know that this time, Lord, we are taking it to just draw closer to you, Father God Jesus. We thank you, Lord. We thank you. And we pray, God Jesus, that you're going to just help us, God Jesus, to even have patience, Lord. Patience if parents are having if parents are being impatient with children, Lord, help them, God. Help our brethren, Lord, that they will exercise that patience, exercise yes. that love, God, Jesus, towards each other, Lord. We pray and we thank you, God. We know that it is done, and it is done in your name. And we commit our brethren into your hands, in no other name, but your mighty and powerful name. Amen. Yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord, yeah, Lord. Yes, 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 hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. For indeed you have said, Lord, in your word, behold how good and how pleasant it is when brethren can dwell together in unity. Abraham said to Lot, when a disturbance came, a disagreement came between uncle and, and, uh, and nephew, he said, let there be no strife among us. Oh God, I believe that Abraham didn't want the enemy to come in. Hallelujah. And Father, we don't want that to happen in our families. We don't want that to happen in our homes, oh God. So Lord, let your peace prevail. Let your wisdom prevail. Let your maturity prevail, oh God, in our lives, in the name of the living Christ Jesus. We thank you, Lord. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory to God. Glory. Hallelujah. Well, dear friends, neighbors, brothers and sisters of the Aruka Worship Center, we are coming to the end of our um, 
prayer session this afternoon. I want to thank these brethren who have come on um, this evening and those who have also Rajesh and Shariza who have um, at the last minute um, come on as replacement for others who were unable to do so. We want to say a special thank you to you, amen, and to the others of you that are looking at us on the on the F, on on our Facebook page. You know, we know that you have prayer requests. Some of you, everything is okay with you and thank God, amen. Uh, yet there are others who might might want somebody to stand with you in prayer. You might want somebody to stand in agreement with you. Amen. Well, I tell you what, we have a group of intercessors and prayers who are standing ready and willing and able to join you in prayer. Amen. And since we cannot see each other or meet with each other, there, um, it is it is a little difficult to know, but still, there is a way how we can know um, what your prayer requests or requests might be, and we can stand with you in prayer. Amen. Brother Malan is standing by right here, and he's going to um, tell us how we are able to make those requests and how we will be able to connect with you in prayer. Brother Marlon. Thank you, Pastor. Good evening, brothers and sisters. I greet you in the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. So as Pastor said, we are standing by to help you with prayer, and we have a team uh, that can assist with that. So if you need prayer, we invite you to send a private message to our Ruka Facebook page via the messenger. And... If it is that you need the print private, we will require that you send some additional information. We will need your name, your uh, email address, and your location if you are non-local to Trinidad. And uh, we will get into contact with you, and then we'll be able to set up something where we can uh, meet with you via uh, the Zoom app, which is what we use for, for meetings. And uh, someone from our team will be able to take your request and pray with you. So we invite you to send a message to our Facebook page and provide some information for us, your name, your location, and our email contact, and we will get back to you. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Brother Marlon. Thank you so much. Hallelujah. So this brings us, this session, to a close. I, I believe that it was productive. I believe God has heard our prayers today. Amen. I like to think of that song, I must tell Jesus all of my troubles. I cannot bear my burdens alone. But if I would ask him, he will deliver. He will make all of my sorrows quickly an end. I must tell Jesus, I must tell Jesus, he is a friend that is well known. Hallelujah. So thank you. Listen, friends, we are not as a people without hope. There is hope in Jesus Christ. Amen. Trust him. Seek his face. He said, ask and keep on asking, seek and keep on seeking, knock and keep on knocking. For if you ask, it will be given to you. If you seek, you will find. If you knock, it shall be opened unto you. Amen. The Lord bless you richly. We love you. We are from the Aruka Worship Center. My name is Ved Nukai, your friend, your brother, and the pastor of the church. Thank you for joining us. Tomorrow we will be back live. No, sorry, on Sunday morning. Tomorrow is Saturday. I just got a bit confused. But tomorrow, on su Sunday rather, we would be live um, on the Facebook page with our Sunday morning worship service at 7.30 a.m. Join us then. God bless you and good night.